Detective Snyder, what did you hear, if anything, when you arrived at the boathouse? I heard Barbara say, why are you doing this? Did she sound like she was speaking to someone she knew? Objection, Your Honor. Detective Snyder has no direct knowledge of whom the victim was speaking to. Withdrawn. Detective Snyder, was that short exchange the last thing you heard before the explosion? Yes. Thank you. Nothing further. You were an FBI agent, Detective Snyder? Yes, I was. And would you say that you have risen to the rank of detective pretty much by playing things by the book? I follow the rules, yes. Then why is it that when my client's wife wanted to report a crime, you didn't meet her at the police station? Uh, wouldn't that have been standard procedure? Barbara was uncomfortable meeting me at the police station because the chief of detectives is also Craig Montgomery's sister. There are other station houses in the area, are there not? Why not meet her at one of those? And Barbara sounded distressed. I wanted to make things easy for her. I see. The Snyders have uh, been in Oakdale for a long time, haven't they, Detective Snyder? Uh, your folks have a lot of friends in this community? I suppose. And recently your family suffered quite a loss, didn't they? Your cousin Holden and his son were killed. Objection, Your Honor. Irrelevant. What does that tragedy have to do with this case? Move on, Mr. Winthrop. Yes, sir. Detective, do you bear any animosity to my client? He's not my favorite person in the world. Could you elaborate? Uh, has my client ever punched you in the nose, stolen your morning paper, kicked your dog? Everyone knows what kind of man Craig Montgomery is. I'm not asking you to speak on behalf of the masses. Explain to me your view, sir. You don't like him, do you? No. Do you have a girlfriend? There's a woman I plan to marry. I wish you every happiness. What's her name? Carly Tenney. If Ms. Tenney is here in the courtroom today, would you point her out for the jury? She's right there. I assume that this wedding to Ms. Tenney will take place after you divorce your current wife. Objection. Where is the relevancy? Your Honor, my line of questioning goes to Detective Snyder's prejudicial view of my client and thus to his reliability as a detective in this case and as a witness. Then make your point. Detective, do you have any evidence that Mr. Montgomery and Ms. Tenney are romantically involved? Absolutely no proof that anything is going on. No. But you are jealous of their friendship, are you not? Montgomery helped Carly out of a few jams, offered her a job. Are you jealous or not? I don't let my personal feelings affect the way I do my job. You never lose your objectivity? No. Do you recall, Detective, uh, the date of the boathouse explosion? June 18th. June 18th. And when was your cousin Holden's memorial service? That same night. The same night. So to review, on June 18th, at night, you received a phone call from Barbara Ryan, a personal friend. She's distressed and concerned about some money issues relating to her business. It was about Craig, not just about her business. Exactly. You discovered that Craig Montgomery might be involved in this, so you couldn't wait to meet your friend someplace unofficial and discuss things. Objection! Badgering! Are we there yet? Mr. Any Mr. second, Your Honor. Detective, how long did you stay at your cousin's memorial service? Was it an hour? Was it ten minutes? I left before it started. Your family was grieving. Your presence was needed, and you couldn't pass the call from Barbara to another detective? No, she called me. I felt that she needed my help. No, you were obsessed with the possibility that you could nail Craig Montgomery. Isn't that right? Detective, can you still tell this court that you were completely objective when it comes to my client? I was doing my job that night. Did you ever question any other suspects in connection with this case? No. Nothing further. There isn't a jury in the world that will acquit after seeing that. We'll see. Barbara 
never said, did you? About Craig's motives for marrying her, that he and I had some kind of pact. No, no, listen, you just tell the truth, we'll be fine. Yeah. I gotta go check in. Hey, you okay? Yeah, well, it's not my favorite way to spend an afternoon. Oh, I know. Or Barbara, huh? At least we know there are no pictures, right? Hmm? Of that kiss that you got from the groom on his wedding day? 